It is not cold, it's not rainy, it's a beautiful day. It's much more beautiful than any other day because this place is so hot and we have here at least 45 Celsius degrees in, in, in August and July in shade. And you go to those black basalt stone and you put an egg and you can have it boiled after less than one hour. You can eat it. It's so hot and it observes the heat of sun radiation all day long. And when night comes, it's still so hot that you can hardly touch it. And if you live in a house built from uh, basalt stones like here, and this is much difficult to live here than Tiberia or other places, it's so hot. So he said, oh, this is the gate to paradise. Thank you, guys. This is the gate to hell. You just leave the little stream of water of the spring of Harod, and you go outside, you die. And this happened last August to one American tourist that left the group in order to see what is going there. And then he didn't see the group anymore. And two hours he was daydreaming of that heat here in this area. So stay with the group. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look up at the sky and you see the condors, so you're lost. <laughs> anyway, in this area, this is a des desert area. And you go outside, you have to, to be aware of animals like snakes and scorpions. People like Bedouins, they will rob you or kill you. Not today. <laughs> Earthquakes. Yeah, this is the Rift Valley. Well, this is gate to hell. Well, how come in Mishnah book, they wrote this is the gate of paradise. So once again, just imagine that I'm a poor tour guide walking here with groups. And after 10 minutes of talking, they cannot stand here anymore. They are red like tomatoes and they were sweating. Let's go down there. No, that's enough to take a picture. That's enough. That's enough. And this is the end of the tour. Usually here in Bet She'an, it's the gate of hell. But let's going to uh, read it or understand what the sages meant when they wrote this is the gate of paradise. This is the age of the huge desert over, over there and the green country over there. Till the terrain, it's very narrow street, you mm -hmm. saw it? But from here, start the road between the mountains, Jezreel Valley to the other side, and little stream of Harod stream running to Jordan River. So here, in this hot place, we have an oasis. Mm -hmm. Neve Midbar. I like the word Neve Midbar. And down John the river is meandering and everything is green on the side. And there are some wild animals. If you're so hungry, you can hunt them. And there's water to drink. Imagine every human being crossing the desert from Mesopotamia, from Babylonia, even from Damascus, Philadelphia, which is Amman today, but it was a Roman Philadelphia. Walking days after days with a caravan of camels, donkeys, with the goods he has, and he stayed alive, scorpions, snakes, killers, bedouins, whatever, and lack of water and so hot. And after that journey, and sometimes they are very simple people. Like sometimes they went, like the Bible stories, to look for the for the bride. Mm -hmm. in their other family over there, mm -hmm. crossing the desert. They have to bring the bride back to the Holy Land, crossing with the desert. Yeah. And the first thing they see from the Ad Mountain, all around this desert, and down there is the green color of Jordan River. Water down there. This is the gate to paradise. Mm -hmm. This is the meaning. So if you're coming from the air-conditioned bus, this journal, <laughs> a different story, 
if you're coming, you do all your way uh, um, by, by yourself, by foot or camels, crossing the desert. And that's the place of point of view. This is the gate to paradise. It's only point of vision.